The Don, Tony, and Kevin Castle show contains explicit language and is intended for mature audiences only. But just because you're mature doesn't mean you can't be a little naughty. Hey, uh, what's your reaction to uh, the rumors that Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar will not be on WWE television for the most part? Get this, until July. Hmm. They're going to keep them off TV till fucking July. <clears throat> wow. I, I actually yesterday thought that maybe there was a chance that Brock Lesnar would show up at Extreme Rules because, hey, Extreme Rules, it's the rule, you know, it's the rules are meant to be broken and he's not supposed to be there. The rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. The guys worked their ass off yesterday. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Castle. <laughs> Listen, the guys worked their ass off yesterday. Even the girls worked their ass off. But that pay-per-view yesterday sucked. And I'll tell you I why it sucked. It. You know, if you're going to do an Extreme Rules pay-per-view, it's like they took every idea of a, of a gimmick that sounded good on paper, and it's like, okay, how can we fuck it up or make it PG? All right. Ooh. <laughs> you think that's what they were trying to do with Anthony? Oh, Fuck Kev, it up. Kev, Russian chain match. All the video clips leading into that match was Rusev with the chain around John Cena's mouth and the chain wrapped around Ryback's nose, reminiscent to when Greg Valentine had the chain wrapped around Roddy Piper's eyes and his ears. And, and, and Sure enough, what the fuck is the match? Oh, we're oh, no, just... Nikita, Nikita Russian chain match. Yeah. Awesome. So what is the match? Oh, we're chained. And we're going to just touch the corners. All right. And now, in suspension of disbelief, Kevin, storyline, I'm supposed to believe that the big Russian Rusev, uh, Russian chain match, uh, you got to touch the corner. The fuck out of here. And then, you know, hey... We got an idea. Let's do a kiss my ass match. But let's change ass to arsh. Kiss my arsh. Arr, arsh, arsh. Sounds like a fucking dog. Arr, 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 arr. Sounds like. And what does he do? Oh, you know, Dolph Ziggler, he kiss my arsh. What does he do? He pulls, he pulls the side of his trunk back where you didn't get the buttocks. You got more like the thigh area and just the beginning of the buttock. Like if if you drew the area where Dov Ziggler kissed and you brought it to a doctor and said, uh, "Where did he kiss his arse?" First of all, the doctor would say, "What is an arse?" You know, <laughs> <laughs> arse. He kissed his fucking leg. He kissed my leg. And then, and then the best part. Connery impersonations are impeccable. And, and then the best part. Ooh, we, have, we have the cage match, and Kane uh, is going to be Kane is going to be the keeper of the gate. But you don't need to win by using the gate. You could win by pinfall or submission. And then this is what blew me away. The fucking crowd tonight. I wanted to smack every single one of them. I wanted to take Bruce Jenner's hair and use it like a mop and just slap them across the face with it, with with it. <laughs> When Kane, it, it, when Randy Orton comes out and cuts a promo and says, you know, Seth Rollins won yesterday and he cheated. I should get a rematch. And Kane is like, you know, that's not a bad idea. And the fans are cheering Kane. And I'm saying to myself, Matarazzi's, Kane refused to open the cage when Randy Orton wanted to leave yesterday. So... In storyline, I'm supposed to understand, okay, Kane didn't want to open the cage yesterday, but then Kane thinks today that it's a good idea for Randy Orton to get a rematch. And then the right. crowd is popping for Kane. I'm like, are you fucking people retarded? Seriously. They're retarded, Don Tony. They're, they're, retarded. Not, they're fucking retarded. And then what else did we have <laughs> yesterday? Um, now all of a sudden the Bellas are, are good. Are, 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 they're good girls now. We're cheering them. Bree mode. They're a good girl. It's like a. It's like. It's like the. You know what pisses me off? I love Ozzy Osbourne, but I can't stand oh, standing in a post office. And then all of a sudden, you see like a sixty-five-year-old woman. A cell phone goes off, and what's her ringtone? All aboard! That's what. That's what Bree oh, mode reminds me of so, I, when she so says, annoying. "Like someone had, had entered Sandman ringtone and fucking donut." Oh God! Now the bell is. The wall. Oh, 
And what else gimmicks Ooh, did we have yesterday? There was something else too. I'm not talking about big, the new day winning. There was other other things yesterday. Um, you know, the, the false count. Then well, the Chicago street fight. Hey, Don Tony, one thing, one thing. You got to admit one thing. <laughs> the new day calling their fans clappers is pretty funny. Yeah, that was that was pretty. Funny. That is that's kind of funny. Clappers. That's a new one. That's pretty funny. But you know what? You and I, ever since New Day came out looking like Smurfs, the day that New Day <laughs> debuted on TV, the YouTube clip is still on YouTube right now. Right? They are Smurfs. I, I, I know that back then we had Papa Smurf and Mama Smurf and Retarded Smurf and Smart who's the, Smurf. Uh, who's the uh, girl Smurf? The uh, only girl Smurf. They all bang. I don't remember. Was it Daisy well, Smurf? Girl Smurf? Come on, chat room. Like light, That's going to light up right now for all those guys. I don't remember Hip Hop Smurf. What's the girl's for? The chat room? What's that Smurf girl's name? What was what was it? Uh, Smurfette. Smurfette, thank you. <laughs> I don't remember. You know. <laughs> 40 people came in at the same time. I don't remember Jamaican Smurf and Preacher Smurf. Jamaican and, Smurf. You know, but, but the thing is, is that, you yeah, know. Ganja you, Smurf. Remember Ganja Smurf? No, I don't remember him. I remember Gargamel. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh and I used God. to, and the cat was funny. <laughs> oh, God, what was that? No, it was a Gargamel. And, it was uh, Gargamel, was and I don't remember the cat. But all I, <laughs> yeah, Gargamel. Well, anyway, um, I don't remember what the other gimmicks was yesterday, but every gimmick was like watered down into something dumb. It's like a Russian chain match. No, we touch the corners. No, we don't Last use it as weapons. Oh, every gimmick was like watered down to crap. I, I had no interest in that pay per view. Whether I got it for free, whether I, I whether I had people over, I didn't want to watch it. What was the I cat's just, name? Yeah, what was the cat's that. name? Azriel. 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 Yeah. <laughs> that was great. I used to love the Smurfs. We were in great, great. I never liked the Smurfs. I always wanted Gargamel to really kill them. Never liked Papa Smurf. I always hoped that maybe he would get a heart attack or something, or <laughs> maybe Smurfette would get Smurfette would get uh, AIDS. Oh, uh, seriously? Didn't, that, didn't they come out a couple of years ago with Smurf movies with the guy from uh, Doogie Howser, Neil Patrick Howser? I don't remember, didn't but do, like, Smurf movies? Robot Chicken did a great spoof of the Smurfs. They had like AIDS uh, Smurf, and you love Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken. I haven't watched it in about three months, but I, I, I they, it, that just the didn't new you get found the DVD, thing. Didn't you get the box set? I did get the box set. Oh, you did. Yeah, I bought every season. <laughs> yeah, every. They season. do a lot of wrestling parties. Yeah, I'm um, trying to think, but anyway.